back to Scaratonin or welcome if you're new here. On this channel, we embrace cozy spooky magic all year long. My name is Taylor and we are jumping in today with another vlog. It is Saturday. I am just hanging at home right now. I'm going to film a couple videos, probably run some errands. And so I will keep you in the loop as to what I'm doing. I'm so excited that you're here and I can't wait to jump in and try another viewer coffee order and just hang out with you guys this week. So stay tuned. This has just been my filming setup. It's nothing crazy. It is a camera that is so old. It's like 12 years old now, but it works, gets the job done. And then of course I have my filming area, which is just all my little spooky stuff for all the spooky good vibes while I film. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I will catch up with you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so I just finished filming a couple videos. I am going to go see our friend's house now. They are building a new house and Alex is doing some electrical over there. So I'm gonna pop in, say hi and check out their house. But I did just wanna talk about my hair for anyone who's interested. If you're not, fast forward. As you know, I'm on a journey to get my hair back to its healthier, natural state. And I feel like this it has been a pretty good hair day. One of the best that I've had, I think since I started this, this side's a little bit wonky. But I wanted to show you the product that I added in. So this is the Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Mask. And this was recommended by India Batson. I mentioned in my last vlog that she has hair very similar to mine. And so I really trust her recommendations. And I feel like it has added so much more shine. And I noticed that my curls clumped a lot easier after using it. I always have issues with my hair getting stringy and losing its clump. If you're in the wavy curly community, you know how important the clumps are while your hair is air drying. And so I feel like this is definitely one of the best hair days I've had since I started this process. And I feel like this product definitely contributed to that. I feel like there's a lot of shine. It's fluffy and it doesn't feel weighed down and sticky and stringy, which I hate. I do feel like my top just needs a good protein treatment. So I'm probably gonna pick up one of those today. Nothing crazy, just a little $2 treatment that comes in a bag just to get those curls back. The top layer gets exposed to so many elements outside and heat damage and things like that. And so I feel like it just needs a little some some. So that's why it's up, half up, half down, because this part needs a little help. But yeah, we're gonna go see my friend's house, pick up a coffee order. We're going to go pick up a hair treatment and I'm still looking for one more item for my video collaboration with Freckles and Pumpkins. And I'm kicking myself because I saw this exact item at Home Goods weeks ago and I was like, no, I'll come get it later. And I haven't been able to find it, but I'm hoping today, manifesting, that we're going to find it because it's the last thing I need for this video. So we're going to go head out. I will bring you along and I'm excited to have you with me. Let's go. Okay, so I am leaving from our friend's house and I'm gonna stop at Home Goods to look for that item that I was talking about before. So I'll stop in there really quick. I was going to try to do a coffee order, but Alex and our friend who he's working with today, uh, we all were like craving Taco Bell. So I think we're just gonna get some food and I will do a coffee order later in the week because I just don't wanna eat too much right now. I'm saving room for Taco Bell. I've lived in this neighborhood for two years now, almost two years, it'll be two years this summer. And I lived in this town my entire life and I cannot find my way around. The streets are literally like the labyrinth. I never know where I'm going. I'm trying to find my way out of here, but I may have to put my GPS on. So if that happens, I'm gonna have to turn the camera off and turn the GPS on because I am so confused and cannot find where I'm trying to go. I think I know where I'm at now, but yeah, how's everyone's week going? Let me know. It's gonna be almost the weekend by the time you see this. So any big plans? We don't really have a lot going on. It's actually a little bit of a quiet month for us right now, which is kind of nice. Hoping to just get some yard work done and stuff on our house and little things like that. So that is the plan. Okay, I found my way out. Thank goodness. <laughs> that was a nightmare. Also, if you've been listening to the Tortured Poets Department, what is your favorite song? I cannot choose one. 
they are also good i feel like this album is like if folklore and evermore and 1989 with a little bit of midnights had a baby like there's so many haunting folklore evermore-esque lyrics and some songs are really like chilling and dark and then you have some like upbeat kind of songs and i think it's just a really really good album overall and i'm not just saying that because i like taylor swift i think it's really well done so let me know your thoughts on that also i'm wondering if because our home goods is right next to a michael's if i should pop in and take a look at the nevermore collection i've been seeing lots of code oranges which i don't really know if this is like a code orange but it's definitely oh, a ladybug it's definitely a code like spooky and i do feel like it was a very good move on michael's part to release this line at the same time that the tortured poets department album is being released because poe and poetry and dark poetry and stuff like that i think it all just kind of like lines up perfectly so maybe we'll pop in and take a gander at some things i'm probably not buying anything but i will show you if i see anything so maybe we'll check it out we'll see if we have time right now i'm gonna pop on some music and i will see you guys after i am done at home goods no luck at home goods but we're gonna go see the nevermore collection let's go they had like some of the nevermore collection but a lot was just not on the shelves and i doubt that it was already sold out because where i live that's like not the vibe and aesthetic that most people go for it's mostly beachy kind of stuff this time of year so i don't know i guess it's not out or i don't know what but there were a couple little pieces so let me know what you think of the nevermore collection i love Poe. Personally, I don't think I would put many pieces from that line in my house. I do think it is really cool and spooky. It's just not my personal style. I'm getting excited for the traditional Halloween to hit the stores because that is what I love the most. I picked up just a little protein treatment for my hair like I talked about, so I'll probably put that in tomorrow just to kind of help with the top layers and the front pieces with their bounce to bring them back to life a little bit. But right now I'm going to hit uh, Taco Bell, get food for myself and Alex and our friend Zach. And I'm so excited. Taco Bell is like my favorite fast food and I really didn't eat it for a long time and I didn't realize how good it was till the last couple of years. And it is so good. Hands down, I would take Taco Bell over any other fast food any day of the week. I also really like Wendy's. Their spicy nuggets are just so good. But Taco Bell's number one for sure, without a doubt. I have been much better during the week. This week I made another lemon garlic chicken with rice and I'm obsessed with lemon garlic lately. It is like, I crave it all the time on everything. I think it's like a nice springy, summery kind of flavor, but I, I just want it all the time. Lemon garlic on everything. We need to try to find some recipes to make this week because we are pretty much out of groceries. So we'll probably have to place an order. I wanna do some like really big yummy salads. I'm just waiting for the weather to be consistently warmer because that's when I love like a big hearty salad with fruit and all the fixings. But when it's like cold and rainy and cloudy like it has been here, it's just not the move anymore. All right, I am almost at Taco Bell, so I'm gonna order and I will fill you in a little bit later on. I'm feeling like Jade the Libra out here with my Baja Blast. It kind of matches my nails, but so good. 
Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday and I am on my way to pick up some groceries. It's very exciting, I know. I'm coming at you with no makeup and my yard work clothes because that is what we're gonna be doing as soon as I get home. We have just some stuff to fix up around the yard and a couple other little things to do. So I'm gonna be like pulling weeds and Alex is gonna be working on the lawn. We have to clean out our shed and things like that. I'm really excited for this summer with our yard because last year there was so much yard work that just had to be done. It wasn't in good shape. It was our first summer in the home and now we're in a much better place. Our pool needed to be fixed last year so that's fixed. Everything is going to be up and running and in so much better shape and I'm just so ready to get out there and enjoy the space that we have and the yard that we have and I'm so thankful for it. And yeah, so I'm excited to get to work on that. So I said on Instagram that I'm going to open up the coffee orders to include Starbucks, even Wawa, wherever else, because we're making this more of a generic, cozy weekly vlog style video. So definitely going to try some other orders. And I think today, because Starbucks is right where I'm gonna be getting my groceries, I'm gonna do a Starbucks order. So I found one from my friend Amanda from high school and we did all the school plays together. We were on the golf team together. Believe it or not, I played golf. I've actually played golf since I was little. Not very good at it, but it was still fun. We were in the high school choir together and she was just always such a sweet, sweet soul. And it means so much that even though we haven't seen each other since we graduated high school, which was 10 years ago now, but it means so much that she watches my videos and reaches out and still comments and supports. And she was always just such a sweet person and she is still such a sweet person. And I'm just thankful that social media has brought us back together. So she gets a skinny vanilla latte with light ice, which whenever I go to Starbucks, I always get light ice because they go crazy with the ice and you're really getting like a cup of ice. So I always ask for light ice, smart move. And she gets a salted caramel cold foam, which I did not even know was a thing. So that is exciting. That is what we will be getting. So I'm gonna go pick up my groceries. I'm going to go into Starbucks, get my order, and then I will bring it back and I will let you know my review. But yeah, it feels good to be coming to you just with my everyday life, with no makeup, just doing the boring mundane stuff because I feel like it's me and it's my everyday life. And as much as I love all things spooky and there will always be little sprinkles of spooky in my life there's so much more that I do I'm a real normal person like I don't just walk around in Halloween gear all day every day and only ever talk about Halloween and only ever buy Halloween things like I gotta do real people stuff we gotta buy groceries take care of our yard and sometimes we do other activities with our family so, so as much as this channel is spooky it's also just cozy lifestyle as well I hope that I find the right people through this I know that a lot of my spooky girls are really into a cozy lifestyle, whether you celebrate Halloween 365 days a year or not. Yeah, I'm just hoping the more that I am just my genuine authentic self on here that I will attract the right people. I am so thankful that already my channel is bringing in people who are so genuine and I feel like I can have a genuine connection with and already we're forming these friendships through our conversations in the comments and things like that and I love that that's exactly what I wanted I want this to be just the best cozy community with little bits of spooky here and there and I feel like that is the path that we are on so thank you and thank you for your support I'm always always saying it but I'm so so thankful so I love you guys. I'm gonna go run in, get my groceries, and I will be back to give you my review. Tortured Poets Department is playing in Target. This is the third song from the album. Okay, I am back with our drink. So reminder, this is an iced skinny vanilla latte with light ice and salted caramel cold foam. So let's try. That's good. I like when it's not too sweet and that's exactly what this is like you can totally taste the vanilla you can totally taste the salted caramel but it's not overwhelmingly sweet which I like it's just really smooth and really yummy that salted caramel cold foam is a nice little treat on top so I feel like the Starbucks cold foam I don't know maybe it holds up longer than the Dunkin every time I get cold foam at Dunkin it like disappears immediately I feel like this is giving it a little something that's so good. That's just like a perfect coffee. Yeah, so if you're looking for something that is not 
too sweet and I know that the skinny lattes are a little bit less calories a little bit healthier that's really good it really is just a nice smooth coffee flavor with a little bit of something with that salted caramel cold foam which is so cool I didn't know they had that and I love caramel so definitely a fan of the cold foam on that yeah this is really good I feel like Starbucks drinks sometimes can be so overwhelmingly sweet and I just don't like that but yeah I'm definitely a fan of this this is really good so thank you Amanda for your order and I have to run one more errand before I go home and we get started on the yard. So I'm going to throw on probably Tortured Poets Department again. And it was playing in Target. I was so excited. So that's what I'm going to be listening to for probably the next month, honestly. So I'm going to throw that on and go run this last errand. And I will update you when I get home. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. We just finished yard work. It was a super long day. I am exhausted. I'm about to do... A little bit of editing on my computer and I think I'm gonna throw on some old Kaylin Nicholson videos on YouTube while I do it and also I got this at Target so good such a good sweet little sugary snack so I got myself a little treat so yeah I'm gonna get to work on that throw on a cozy video and work on this for about an hour and then I'm gonna make some dinner not sure what we're gonna have yet but I will update you see you soon Yesterday kind of got away from me, but nothing really crazy happened. I went to work, came home. I had a couple Zoom calls because in the summer I work for a yacht club. We're getting things rolling for that, so I had a couple calls. And then I made an amazing dinner. It was so good. It was this jalapeno popper chicken. So it's really easy. It's just, you take cream cheese, garlic powder, cook up a little bacon and then crumble it in some jalapenos and then mix it all up so I use my electric mixer and then you're gonna put it in with chicken breast and bake it I did 450 for about 30 minutes I think it was and I served it with a little side of mac and cheese and it was amazing so if you like spicy things and jalapenos and you like jalapeno poppers these were really really good I know the mac and cheese wasn't like the best healthy side but I didn't have anything else I'm saving my asparagus for something else this week so then this is where I'm conflicted with my hair because I had such a good blowout this morning and the blonde is popping and I know I say like I want to let it go natural but I'll get a couple days out of this and I love the way it looks with my color touched up so I don't know I'm really having a struggle with this hair for me blow drying my hair and then letting it go for a couple days has been my routine for a while and I find that that is so much easier because it just works for me like washing your hair takes a long long time I can stop touching it up during the week curling iron and straightening iron then I might be able to get away with it if I could just leave my blowout for a couple days that would be perfect so if you have any tips for maintaining a blowout let me know because I would love if my hair could look like this all day every single day so our pool will be open in about three weeks which is so exciting who's coming for a pool party we'll have a spooky pool party anyway i'm gonna finish my drive and i will talk to you guys a little bit later love you bye Me 
just got off work. I have a ladder in my car, it's a long story. But I am on my way home. Yesterday, we went to my aunt's house because Alex was doing some work on her house and it ended up being just a really nice, chill night. Her and I went and we had a quick drink. We picked up some food and cooked dinner and it was amazing. And she has such a pretty view from her home. And so I just sat on the couch with this like cozy, amazing Barefoot Dreams blanket, which I've never touched a Barefoot Dreams blanket in my life. And I was just the happiest little camper. So I was like, I need a blanket like this in my life. I don't know why I don't have one that is that soft. So I will not be buying a Barefoot Dreams blanket, but we are gonna go look for a dupe or something really similar, just something super duper snuggly that I can use to cuddle up for movies or watching my favorite cozy spooky YouTubers, whatever it may be. So gonna see if I can find something like that. And then when I got home, I just watched Hocus Pocus and now it is officially the weekend. Alex and I are going to do a movie night tonight. Not sure what we're gonna watch yet, but I will let you know what we end up picking. And we're just gonna have like yummy comfort food, throw on a movie and just hang out. We also just finished Unlocked on Netflix, which if you like shows kind of like 60 days in, it's a really interesting show. So we just finished that. We're looking for a new show to watch if anyone has any recommendations. We like a lot of things that are similar to that. We just found out that Stranger Things got pushed back to next year, which stinks but i know it's gonna be amazing so i'm trusting the process that it's gonna be just as good as all the other seasons and yeah i'm gonna go see what blanket i can find and i will show you guys when i'm done so i'll see you in a little bit bye this blanket has been gotten it is so soft i'm absolutely obsessed alex and i are having movie night tonight so we've put out the pullout couch i'm gonna edit a little bit i've got old scooby-doo playing in the background because it just is so nostalgic. It makes me so happy. I bought the whole first season on Amazon Prime. I think it was something like $15, nothing crazy. And I love to play it in the background because I love Scooby-Doo. Leave a comment if you were a Scooby-Doo fan back in the day. I remember I was watching Scooby-Doo when I lost my very first tooth. So that was like a core memory and I absolutely love it.